Howdy, I'm Matt and in this video we are going to be talking about the ISDT Smart Charger SC608. Now before we go any further, I just want to make it absolutely clear, this charger was bought out of my own money for my own abuses and the reason why I bought this charger is because Dave, one of the guys which I fly with, uh, he bought one and he was using it a lot and was getting good use out of it and the way in which he was using it it was very simple we were on the flight line uh, instead of carrying like a shed load of batteries to to the flight line or getting to the flight line having a dozen or so flights and then realizing that you've run out of all your favorite batteries uh, is that with this battery charger is that on the top we take a look there uh, you'll see that the, the power in is a uh, xt60 connector you'll also notice underneath there is a little fan Love a quick nose around as well. This side, that, that, that bit's a bit awkward. That's the balance lead. Uh, that connects to our battery. And we have this little jog wheel just here on the side as well. Uh, and yeah, coming back to the use case is that, yeah, Dave was using his an awful lot on the flight line. Uh, and I forget how much I paid for this. I will put a link to it in the video description. And again, for 100% clarity, uh, it that will be an affiliate link. If you use that link, you will be supporting this channel. So coming back to my point, Dave was using it frequently on the flight line uh, to charge up his batteries. And I thought that was a really, really good idea. <laughs> I say that was a really good idea. I've only actually used it once on the flight line. What's actually happened since then is that I have a big uh, reactor quad core charger, which ch I can charge five or more batteries at one, uh, sorry, four or more batteries at one time, uh, is that what was happening is that when I wasn't out on a flying day, I had still had this charger like floating around. So I then did a uh, an extra fly lead coming off with an XT60 connector on there so I can now charge a minimum of five batteries uh, here at all at one time. So it has actually turned into more, uh, there's me by the way, howdy in the camera, uh, is that it has turned in to more of a uh, home charger. <laughs> Okay, that's all it's done. Again, you I, the, there's a wide voltage range which you can put on there. It goes from 9 to 32 volts on the input. You'll notice the screen is nice and bright. And I'll tell you what, let me just zoom in and touch so you can see the screen on there. Okay, and it's got this nice little jog wheel on the right. Uh, and to be honest, the only two screens which I've really looked at, um, besides choosing the, the uh, current, which is on the next screen, uh, is the, the battery voltage, which I tell you what, let's go and connect up a battery here to the side. So we'll plug the battery in on the left hand side. Now, this bit really did confuse me, is that you need to put your balance lead upside down, and then you put it up to the far side, like that. Okay, so it goes in upside down, uh, for me, it's upside down anyway, uh, and we'll put that round, and there we go. We can now see the battery voltage uh, for this one, uh, and then, of course, it'll give you some details across the actual battery as well. And once you're on charge, it will also give you the resistance of each of the cells as well, which has actually helped me identify a couple of packs which have slightly got older now uh, and have been... Uh, well abused uh, and have started to show signs of wear and I've, I've been able to identify those uh, early. So how do we use this charger? It's very very simple. All we do is press the button on the right hand side. Now you do have a selection of different char uh, tasks on there uh, or options for tasks but to be honest normally what I do is just scroll in here, current setting, look at the battery and I'll see it's a 1.8 so I'll click on there, go and choose 1.8, choose that scroll down and then click start task okay uh, and then it gives you a nice little percentage indica indicator at the top it tells you what kind of current it's using and do notice that all the time I'm actually using another battery pack a bigger one uh, to keep this one charged uh, and then if I scroll down uh, it probably will it tell me no it, it takes a short while uh, for the milli ohms to or the values to show per cell uh, down there now with that said, let's go and stop this one. Oh, actually talking about stopping, this one is not annoying. Uh, the reactor, the, the quad core, when, once a charge finishes, it sits there and beeps its little head off at you until you get off your butt and go and turn it, or stop, press the press a button on it. This one will go beep beep, 
once it's finished charging uh, and then wait about a minute and then beep at you again it's much more polite okay so a very polite little charger and I know that mud doesn't sound like a lot but if you're sat in the office here uh, and you've got five batteries going uh, it you, you does feel like that you've got five children uh, which you need to check up on every five seconds because they're all there beeping their heads off you anyway uh, coming back to my point so uh, the difference has the one thing which I did this, two big things which I like about this one besides it being very polite the, the, the first one is that you can discharge batteries on this one as well so you'll see that you've got discharge and storage is the, the feature which I'm mentioning here so you can, can put batteries into storage and the reason why you can do that is that because it will have a little resistor bank on the back of there uh, and a fan to keep the thing cool the other thing which I really like about this battery pack is that it does support um, like uh, LIHV. Now, why am I talking about LIHV? Uh, is because none of the the more expensive. I'm talking about my bigger charger, which was like 150 quid. The quad core one does not support lithium lithium HV battery pack packs, whereas this one does which is happy days. You've also got Lil on, uh, Lifey as well. Again, I use that for my transmitter pack. And of course, if you wanted to use lead acid or nickel metal hydrides or NICADs, uh, you could also use this to charge as well. Now, there are a collection of other options in here. It will automatically uh, choose the correct cell count for you uh, and choose an app setting and then just click on start task uh, and off you go. And I really do like it. And then. It, the intention was to use it on the flight line. What happened in reality is something quite different, which is that it ended up being uh, an additional desktop charger, uh, and it has worked exceptionally well. As far as instructions in the box, it probably had some, but to be honest, you don't really need any instructions at all because it is so simple to use. That's one of the things which I really, really like about it you just stick a battery on choose the current setting go and for me that's thumbs up so with that said i hope this little mini review on the isdt uh, the sc608 uh, was helpful to you uh, do remember i did buy this one out of my own money for my own abuses i am personally impressed about this one it sure beats the old blue uh imax the 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 b6 charger which i used before uh before i bought the reactor one that that's definitely for sure would i buy one of these again if, if i was in the scenario that i it's two scenarios is number one if i was on a limited budget this thing would definitely be a lot four of these would be a definitely a lot cheaper than a great big uh reactor four quad charger thing okay that's for sure okay so it would work out cheaper if i wanted a charger which i wanted to use on the flight line this would be my choice because it has worked really really well and i will continue to use this one over time not only here in the office but also out on the flight line as well uh, and while i would personally class it a little bit on the expensive side for what it is it does for me uh, I do prefer it over the blue B6 chargers, which I originally started with. Uh, and with that said, I hope that helps you. Now, those of you which have watched this video and actually own an SC608, can you do me a big favor and let those people uh, what, know what your thoughts are on this charger? And you can do that in the comments section underneath this video because I would really, really value your feedback because you may know a feature about this battery charger which I just don't use okay so if you own one please share your opinions about this charger uh, underneath this video in the comments section and inversely if you don't own one yet uh, if you have any questions about this charger please just ask in the comments section underneath this video because I've got mine here like I said it was bought out of my own money for my own abuses uh, and I'll help you out the best I can so with that said from myself Matt thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!